because even though it's been eight years, it feels like yesterday. April 3rd marks a tragic day in Longhorn history. Especially being a parent myself, uh, parent of girls, it's just the most horrific thing you can imagine. In 2016, freshman dance major Haruka Weiser was walking home when she was sexually assaulted and killed on campus. Mickey L. Kreiner, who at the time was a 17-year-old homeless teen, was convicted of capital murder in 2018 and sentenced to life in prison. And I remember sending it to my parents and saying, oh my goodness, I can't believe this happened at the school I'm going to go to in the fall. Her death sparked fear among students like Ashley Raymond, who went on to start safely an online safety product line with other girls in her class. It was just that need that we really bonded over in the mission that we needed to do something. Parents like Joel McNew came together to form Safe Horns, a community-led coalition with the goal of improving safety for students. Sadly, I wish we wouldn't be here, you know? Since 2016, Safe Horns has led initiatives to increase lighting around campus, secure golf carts for campus transportation, and foster relationships with police. We've really done a tremendous amount of work uh, through passion and hard work to come to this day. On Wednesday, eight years after Haruka's death, they unveiled the latest initiative. Oh, yay! The opening of the Safe Horns Play, Southwest 23rd Street. This is tremendous, and I think any alumni that comes back and sees this will know exactly what it means. In the basement of a vacant church, the space will be a refuge for students, providing resources and even hosting safety-related events and seminars. Something like the Safe Horns space is fantastic because it's a place where kids can go and they feel safe. They can go and relax. They can have fun with their friends. McNew is proud of what's been accomplished since Haruka's death, but knows there's a lot of work left to be done. There's a lot of things we're trying to do from the student perspective to really bring this place back to life, and we hope that honors her in a way that she would be happy with. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.